Howdy. I feel like I speak too fast in these episodes because I'm trying to make it very short, but it's like, what's the point when you keep repeating yourself? You know, it's a dumb habit. Let's stop with this habit and let's continue with something. Anyways, uh, look, I don't want to say anything weird, but uh, as I was recording this video plenty of times, I did drop tea on my table, so I don't know how. It's a weird thing to remember because it's so forgetful now that I actually, actually dropped something. My table is very sticky, okay? It's so sticky. It's like more sticky than my marshmallow surprise, my, marsh my melted marshmallow surprise, my icky sticky um, uh, s liquid surprise, if you know what I mean. My soapy liquid, my white liquid <laughs> surprise. Uh, okay, enough about surprises. Let's put a full stop at all those sticking conversations of all the rambling and let's focus on something we need to talk about. Freaking what we need to learn, what we learned from this crisis, and what we need to remember from this. Do not rely on freaking China. And I understand a lot more happened due to this. I mean, it's like people were traveling and stuff, whatever, but this is the main thing you need to understand is that if you rely on China every time for all our goods and services and stuff, guess what? We're not going to have anything to help ourselves. We need people from our own countries, especially in South Africa. I'm talking from this country's perspective, because trust me, our president blows a freaking Chinese Communist Party's freaking president's dick so much, you know, it's like, bruh, enough, enough tooting that horn, take care of your country, and let people, you know, work for themselves, encourage people to work for themselves, not rely on China, you know, make sure these people know that their skills are known and needed, I understand you need degrees for some stuff, but, but you don't need a freaking degree to work in the factory. I know some people might think that's weird, but like I don't know if you do need that because I don't know. These days you need degrees for everything. I need to pass at least some grade to just get in jobs, even to pick dirt. That's what I heard from my mother, but I don't know if that's true. But it's like you need all this stuff just to do simple jobs. It's like don't you need a skill first? You don't need a freaking whatever, you know? You don't need freaking degrees. Like degrees are only for I work. I uh, education stuff and plus if you're getting like a better job and plus people who get degrees are still sitting at home it's best if you make use of their skills and just let them work in factories and not terrible made factories factories that can help this country and let them you know survive you don't have to work there forever just work there for a while to get our country back on feet back on their little tiny little toes back on their tiny little feet into their slippery i know for a fact that i've heard this from another youtuber um well, I think so, it's from him, but I'm not going to say his name because just in case I'm wrong. Um, basically, he said something about, you know, this c this could be a way where other countries can come to this country and, you know, like, not China, but like other countries that can, are better than China in a way, you know, they can just come and, you know, start their own companies over here. It's, it's kind of like a gold mine, you know, like back in the day we had gold in this country, well, and everyone was flocking to this country, well, Guess what? It's going to be a game, but now we have actual people to work for. People can get our own South Africans to be employed. And then, you know, maybe you can have bosses from other countries working here. That's fine, but it's like it's a benefit for two countries, their country and our country. It's specifically more on our country because we're getting stuff too, but we shouldn't be bribed on simple stuff. Secondly is China should not be allowed any country. I'm sorry, but... Like, the chi I'm talking about Chinese Communist Party, I'm not talking about Chinese people. Chinese people are epic, but it's not the Chinese Communist Party. The Chinese Communist Party is just, oh, just Winnie the Pooh, the entire uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Pooh and Friends, you know, Winnie the Pooh Adventures, whatever show, whichever show you watch when you were a kid, the adventures of Winnie the Pooh, <laughs> the adventures of Winnie the Pooh starring uh, freaking, I don't even know, Jing Ping, I don't even know his name. Is that his name? The president's name? I don't even know. I just want to say that countries need to be a bit more dependent on themselves. This is what Trump said. You know, I, I really said something like this and it's like, you know, you should have listened. Stop going to China, building all your stuff and whatever. Build in this country. We have people, build in your countries. You have people over there too. It's not a, like a super third world country where you can't freaking, uh, you know, sell anything or do anything. Like you, you, you have the help you have, you need. You have the, prov you have the, you know, uh, I was gonna say provisions. You have the stuff to provide you. You know, the goods and services and 
products and stuff. Why don't you use that? Use that and take advantage of your own uh, country, you know? Like, I was watching this uh, this video from Disc Makers. Like, I'm, I'm into the DVD stuff now. It's like, oh, wow. Ever make good animations? You should use that as your merch, you know? And it's like, you know, this lady once, you know, she, when she was advertising for this specific DVD pack uh, package, I think it was called Digipack, a uh, weird name, but okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, it sounds cool, but it's like, I don't know, it's kind of expensive when you check the prices and stuff and you do the calculations on the site. So trust me, it's kind of pricey. But uh, it's like, she said, proudly made in the USA. And it's like, people actually need USA stuff for once, or their own country stuff for once, and not rely on China, because stuff from China don't last long, okay? But you gotta be honest with you. I understand if you need one thing or two things from China, it's fine, unless, you, like, if they make it there, it's fine, because I know for a fact, like, I have, I have a, I'm guilty with this, because it's like, there's one thing I need from China, which is like, not China, I don't know where it's from, though, it could be like, you can get it from any three countries, but we, we don't know where it's made from, it's like, you know, well, that's specifically made there. It's like an animation tablet. It's so good, but it's like, it's made there, so you need that specific thing from there. It's made from the company in there. It's not, you know, anything weird, like made from one country and started to make in China. This they made it from China. It's not like that at all. I feel like this is how we should learn from this and be independent. We have to be independent. I'm sorry, guys, but we have to be independent. If you don't be independent now, this could happen again, not with China, maybe something else, but I, I'm not saying trade deals and crap and, you know, maybe exporting a few goods here and there are bad. I'm just saying don't rely everything on China because this is what our country is doing. It's like making like a lot of friendly stuff with China. Uh, you, you guys should watch China Uncensored. They made a video on South Africa and it's like very good to watch. It's like, it's sad at the same time because, you know, when I'm living over here, it's like, Dang, they're really taking over, huh? And, you know, you have, like, the black supremacists so are like, go away, whites. And it's like, oh, yeah, well, you can get, you can get whiter than whites coming and taking over. So I'll be happy with that, you know? And trust me, they must know worse than whatever you have now, which is no oppression whatsoever. You know, there's, there's nothing of, no, well, there is bad stuff, emotionally, tensions going on, but it's like, there's no apartheid or apartheid, however you pronounce it. I like to call it apartheid. Apartheid sounds much stronger, and, and people used to pronounce it like that back in school, I'm guessing. So it's like, it's good to pronounce it like that. Apartheid. Um, we don't live in that anymore, even though it's just been like a few years since we passed it. It's still, we don't live in that. There's still going to be racial tension. I'm not going to lie. There's always going to be racial tension, especially, you know, a few years after that. And, you know, ended in 1994, and it's like, so there's still going to be stuff, which was my grade seven insert teachers um, quotes well I'm misquoting him but it's like he used, to, he used to say something like that and you know it's very good to realize that you know he's right about that like back then I was like nah he's wrong now now I'm like he's definitely right uh, anyways uh, sorry about my voice I feel like I'm speaking way too fast to try and end this video but it's like I feel like you guys should listen more I don't know I don't know <laughs> maybe I should you know Stop rambling and there we go. Take care. Bye. Love you all.